rejoice and be glad in it. And uh, this morning, we are so excited to be joining, uh, uh, come all the way from Malta, uh, Reverend uh, Fennec Cloud is joining us this morning via uh, FaceTime, and uh, you're going to be able to see him this morning. So, Reverend Fennec Cloud, welcome to the program. Uh, thank you for having me here. Amen. It's good to be able to uh, have you here today. And, uh, Reverend Fennec, we, we, we want to talk a little bit more about how the first thing we want to know for our listeners this morning. How did you come to know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Well, it's a long story, and I'll try to condense it. As a teenager, I was actively involved in the Roman Catholic Church as an altar boy, and I also attended the Catholic Action and other related groups. I also formed part of the Catholic Youth Center. But I had religion, but I had very little personal relationship with God. Then one day in 1972, I met a Norwegian missionary by the name of David Wolf Wintersberg, who came from all the way from Norway, and he was in Valletta, in Republic Street, sharing the gospel. And uh, as he was talking to a group of teenagers, I just joined them and listened to what he had to say. And I realized that this man had something more than simply religion. And so I asked him, you know, what is it that you have that I don't have? And he just smiled back at me and he said, I have Jesus. Uh-huh. And you know, this really, <laughs> this really made me angry because I said to him, you know, Jesus belongs to us, to the Catholics, not to you Protestants. And I, I was really upset. Mm. But, you know, that didn't bother him. He just smiled back at me and said, um, well, you know, if you have Jesus or not. <laughs> And so I went back home with that thought going around my mind. Do I have Jesus? Yeah. And uh, for six months, because later I met the, this guy again, this missionary again, and he gave me a Bible. And for six months, I searched the scriptures and I had a lot of questions. So what I did, I went with these questions to my spiritual director in school who was a Catholic, and I went with the same questions to this missionary. Mm. And I said, now let's see who gives me the right answers. But anyway, and uh, as I was seeking, suddenly the truth hit me. Um, I needed a savior. um, And, and, And you know, to forgive me of my sins and to save me from the penalty of my sins and to give me the grace to serve him as Lord. That's how it started. Wow, that, that is a powerful testimony, uh, Reverend Fennec. It's good to hear that because the gospel has got power. Reverend Fennec, you are you're immortal, uh, the general superintendent of the Assemblies of God, the immortal. Uh, how old is the Pentecostal church in Malta, and uh, how have you been involved from the very first time? Okay, I'll give you a very brief history. This missionary, David Wolf was the first Pentecostal missionary to Malta that I am aware of. Of course, that is after the Apostle Paul. Paul. I got saved in 1972, and to my 